Yo, 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 what up YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay CN. Coming back with another one, man. Y'all already know the most how to woke us up this morning. Let's take this opportunity to be great, you know what I'm saying? Actually, it's like 3.41, man. I'm on my way to get this good workout in. Let me show y'all what it look like out here real quick, man. The sun is up. You know what I mean? We big blessed, nothing less, man. If you're looking at that, man, you winning already. You ain't sending already, you winning already. You know? So understand, man. Listen, bro. We gotta get out there. We gotta do something great with our lives, man. Great with our time, man. Great with our energy, man. You know? For real, for real. Woo! We got a hot one, man. We hot boxing today. You know what I'm saying? While I'm on my way, we hot boxing today while I'm on my way, bro. You know? I just wanted to tell y'all real fast, man, like one of the, you know, one of the slept on hacks, you know, after a relapse to do, man, is going outside. You know, I, I don't hear people say that enough. I don't know if I said it before, but listen, what up, what up? But uh, yeah, man. You know, after after a relapse, bro, the best thing you can do is repent and get outside, man. Go out there, get you some fresh air, man. Do not sit in that house. Do not sit and let them uh, them four corners, let them walls close in on you, bro. Because now you're gonna start feeling trapped. Now you're gonna start feeling worse. You know what I'm saying? Now you're gonna probably feel like doing the same thing that you just did that you regret you know what i'm saying because you know you already in the slumps you know what i'm saying you already in the slumps because because of what you did bro you know so you know when you get outside bro it'll change it'll change everything on top of that you know when you're getting some sun getting some good vitamin d listen bro you're getting some of them vitamins and nutrients back in your body and being out there in nature, bro, I'm telling you, bro, that's a natural dopamine release in itself. It will bring a smile to your face when you get out there and get some sun on you. You know what I mean? When you get out there and get some sun on you, when you feel that fresh air, you know, when you see all of that green that's out there, all them green, the, 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 the green leaves on the trees, all of those things are stimulating to the mind. You know, even when you see other people, all of those things are stimulating to the mind. So, you know, really, you know, it just takes your mind off of everything that you might be even going through in life. You know, it takes your mind away from, you know, bad habits. It takes your mind away from sin and being in the flesh, bro. It takes your mind away from that when you go back to nature. You know, that's why I talk about going back to nature all the time, bro, because anytime you know, you make a mistake. Anytime you in need of something, listen, bro, you go back to nature. You know, but this world don't want you to know that. Society don't want you to know that. Satan don't want you to know that. You know, but instead, they want you to turn to them. They rather you turn to the world for answers, rather you turn to darkness, you know, rather you return to your, you, you know, back to your vomit. That's what they rather you do. They rather you do everything else but go to the most high and return back to nature. Because nature is the most high. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, anytime you do something that's, you know, that's just fake, that's just of this world, you know what I'm saying? Listen, bro, go back to nature. You know what I mean? That's why we gotta continue to put natural things in our body too, bro. You know, because when you when you put natural things in your body, bro, listen, dog. I'm telling you, you get back everything that you lost. It's like repl it's, it's replenishing to you. You know what I mean? Going outside is replenishing to you. It's replenishing to you. It's like, you know, it's like wiping the slate clean. It's like getting that, you know, that drink of water that you've been thirsty for. Just like the word, you know, you go back to the word too. You know, you go back to that word, you get back to studying or whatever, you know, and now you're getting fed, you're getting replenished with the living waters, you know, and that will help you. But just sitting there and letting them walls close in on you is for the birds, bro. You know what I'm saying? We all gonna make mistakes. We all gonna screw up. But listen, bro, you gotta you gotta understand, man. There's there's things that you gotta have set up for you because this is life that we live in. At the end of the day, this is life that we live in. 
and you know already that things ain't gonna always go our way like we talked about the other day you know what I'm saying so the best thing you can do is get back to doing good things get back to your routine yeah hitting that gym is cool you know what I mean you know yeah supplementing getting your supplements in your body is cool but listen bro you gotta incorporate getting outside you know what I'm saying getting outside you know what I mean? Don't stay inside, bro. Don't stay cooped up. Don't stay in them shadows because that's what it's going to start to feel like. It's going to start to feel like you just still in them shadows and you're not still in them shadows, bro. You might have been in them shallows for a brief second, for a little moment while you was messing up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? While we take steps backwards. We might have been in them shallow, them shadows while we was in that flesh. You know what I'm saying? While we wanted that sex. But guess what, bro? You don't gotta stay there, man. You know, don't let don't let nobody make you think that you gotta stay there, make you feel that you gotta stay there. You absolutely not. You absolutely don't. You know? But that's what they like to make you think, bro. You know, in these relationships, they, they you know that some of these women like to make you think that you gotta stay there. You know what I mean? Some of these people in your lives and in your family think that you gotta stay there, that you gotta stay around. And you really don't, bro. You really don't, bro. You got, you got, you got, you got the right, you know what I'm saying, to separate yourself. You got the right to get out of sight. You got the right to, to replenish and, and take a deep breath and, you know, get out there and, you know what I'm saying, get back to what you know. You have that right, man. You know what I mean? Don't let people around gang stalk on you, bro, because they will if you let them. You know what I mean? All in the name of, whatever they think but you don't have to you don't have to do nothing bro you can get you can get you can get yourself in a better position you know and we just got to get you know that uh that that bondage mind mindset out of our mind bro we got to get rid of that you know what i'm saying you got to free yourself bro that's why it's important to get into the truth you know what i'm saying that's why it's important to stay on this journey because it helps free us from the traps and the bondage that once had us on a consistent daily basis you know now it's not like that you know what i mean now we know that we got the power to break the chains now we know that we got the power to to stay in this light you know we got the power you know to change we got the power to grow you know we got the power to live you know, and that's exactly what we doing. That's why you got to stay excited no matter what, bro, because we still living. We still here. You know what I'm saying? We still living. We still here. We live to fight another day. You know what I'm saying? And that's all that matter, bro, at the end of the day. We live to fight another day, and that's all that matter, bro. You know? You know, we don't, we, we, we are not, you know, our mistakes. Understand that. We are not our mistakes you know what i'm saying we are not our pitfalls we are not we are not those things bro you know we are not the flesh we are a spirit we the spirit bro you know so that's why we got to stay in it that's why you know what i'm saying because everything is spiritual bro you know and we got the spirit of the most high in us we got the holy spirit in us well at least that's what we trying to keep that's what we want that's what we want, but when we when we when we allow ourselves to 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 sink back into some of them old ways, then you know, in that moment, we're not in the spirit, we in the flesh, bro. So that's why I said earlier, bro, we gotta tame that, man. We really do gotta tame that. We cannot it, that that can't be like that all the time, man. You know, a lot of people, bro, when they when they stay in that, that's why you see them, you know, addicted to a lot of things that's why you see them overweight that's why you see them unhealthy you know what i'm saying that's why you see them very low energy is because they allowed that flesh to take over them you know what i'm saying without no limits you don't want that stuff you don't want it happening to you you don't want the flesh having control of you without no limits it's gonna run you right off them train tracks bro it's gonna run you right off the bridge you know, so you really do have to understand, bro. I need things set up, man. That's just going to not keep me in that low state. That's not going to keep me in the flesh. You know what I'm saying? I got to have things set up. You know what I mean? So, you know, 
First off, make sure that you repenting. Make sure you dropping to your knees, keeping your knees nailed to the ground. You know, talking to the most high, talking to your father. You know what I mean? You got to talk to him like literally like it's your, because he is your father. You got to talk to him like your dad, bro. Just like you would have a conversation with your dad about what's going in your own in your life and some real stuff. You know what I mean? It's not like he don't know already. So you may as well just talk to him. You ever you ever did something and your parents knew about it and they just wanted to see if you was going to tell them? That's how it be, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's how I, I didn't got grilled by my mom, you know, coming up. You know what I'm saying? You knew she knew already. You know what I'm saying? And, and so it's like you may as well just tell the truth. You may as well tell the truth. And why not? Why is this so hard for people to do? I mean, no matter how embarrassing it is, no matter how bad you feel, no matter how, you know, terrible and, you know, all of that, like you feel that you messed up, bro, you got you to gotta talk to them. When you talk to them, you acknowledging that you did wrong. When you talk to them, you showing them that you are humbling yourself. You know what I'm saying? And that's what the most high want to see. Everybody that's not humbling themselves, guess what? They're not talking to the most high. They feel self-righteous in their ways. You know what I'm saying? They feel like, you know, you know, turn into sin and wickedness like they like they owe that. You know what I'm saying? Like there's, you know, there's no there's no regret for the things that they do. You know what I'm saying? And that's why they go through what they go through. But listen, bro, that's why it's important for us to let the most high know, like we humbling ourselves. We know that we did wrong. We know that, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, that what we, how we living ain't right. We know that we want to change and that's what we express to him. And that's what we just got to keep doing, bro. Rather things is going right or rather you doing wrong. You know what I'm saying? And trying to make it right. You got to just continue to talk to the most high. So these these are things that we have to go to. That we have to go to. We have to have things set up. But understand, bro. Getting outside. Not being cooped up. Not sitting in your sin. Not sitting in that wickedness. Listen, bro. Now you were. Now, now you know, you starting that, you know, that cycle over again. But if you're not doing any of those, any of those things and you're just sitting around, then listen, bro, you, you're just about to make the same mistake. You know what I'm saying? You're about to just do the same thing you just did. You know, you're about to feel even worse. You're about to feel even more negative. You know what I'm saying? You're just lowering your own energy. But as soon as you step outside, bro, I swear, bro, I'm telling you, you know, that helped me out every time, bro. I, 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 I took a step backwards. So understand, man, that's just one of the best things that you can do. And it doesn't matter what season it is. It is not just for the summer. This is even for the winter. When you get out there, you know, and you feel that cold hit you, you know, you feel that cold wind and all of that stuff, it wakes you up. You know what I'm saying? It wakes you up. Fall, you know, it's, it's windy. It's, it's, it's in between. It's that good hoodie weather. You know, you inhale in fresh air. It doesn't matter what season it is, bro. Get out of the house. Get out of the place where you made that mistake get out of the place where you made that mistake get out of the place that you made that mistake that mistake you gotta get out of there bro you know what i'm saying you gotta haul you gotta haul ass up out of there bro so you could get your energy back so you could get your focus back you know so you could get that spirit back you gotta go back to nature every time you know what i'm saying you know you sit there bro you order yourself you know what i mean you order yourself some bs on uh on grub hub listen you about to relapse just like them just like them them overweight kids that be on a video game dude bro you about to you about to get back on on the game you about to get back on that that ncaa uh 24 you know what i'm saying ncaa 24 you about to order you some little caesars and a bunch of co and, and, and a bunch of two liter cokes and in between time, while you're doing all of that, you're going to be fapping and continue. That's the lifestyle that you live when you sit there, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, you're not lazy. You need to get active. When you make a mistake, you need to get active. Get active in the spirit. Active in the truth. Active in your health. Active in your purpose, bro. You need to get more active. You know what I'm saying? It, like, really should amp you up. And then when you get out in nature, bro, that's exactly what it do, bro. You refocus. You realign yourself. And, 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 and you know what, man? Listen, bro. If you can, ground yourself. Get Take your shoes off. If you could just walk, 
just barefooted in the backyard. Do that. Nobody's saying you got to even jump in the whip and go nowhere. Just go outside. You know what I'm saying? Take you a walk around the block. Go in the front. You know what I'm saying? Take your shoes off. Take your socks off. Ground yourself. Feel some grass on your feet. You know what I'm saying? Feel some grass on your feet. You know, feel the electricity come through your body. The spirit come through your body. You know what I'm saying? You know, do do those things, man. But like I said, man, you know, just don't sit there, bro. That's a, that's a terrible mistake. That's a huge mistake. You know, that's not talked about enough. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all doing just that. Make sure y'all keep enduring in this truth. Make sure y'all stay active. Make sure y'all keep getting right. Make sure y'all stay prayed up. Make sure y'all staying sober and vigilant. Make sure y'all doing all of that, all right? And that's my word, man. My name is JC and the Sin Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace.